using XRP to send currency around the world is very fast, is very low fee and low energy. It's a green energy and handles over 1500 transactions per second. So what is XRP worth? Well, as Universe 20 on Twitter pointed out, just getting 10% of the traffic that crosses the SWIFT system right now in our traditional banking system, just getting 10% of that transferred over to the XRP ledger is arguably going to create a $1,200 valuation for XRP. So today, one XRP, 77 cents. In the future, we can make a very good case for just getting 10% of that SWIFT traffic, increasing XRP's value to $1,200 per XRP. That's a 1,558 time increase. And that's not even the maximum price that I can see or argue for XRP. It's only my first target, roughly around $1,000 to $1,200, which I think is very doable within a one to two year period. So that's why I say, if you're not an accredited investor yet, don't worry, because the better investment is actually in XRP. As I've shown you, the Ripple stock, I can argue, can get a 13 time increase, and I can argue that XRP can get a 1,558 time increase, so it's not even close. Both, I think, will do better than these estimates, but this is just a simple way of demonstrating how to answer this question, which is the better investment. Also, for those of you who want to invest in Ripple stock in a retirement plan, you can contact link to and ask about details how it is possible to do that. So there you have it. I think the better investment is XRP. And that's good news because anybody can afford a 77 cent investment. You don't have to be an accredited investor. You don't have to have a lot of money to participate. So in the end, we can thank the SEC for that lawsuit and for keeping XRP's price low for us to be able to accumulate over all this time. We started buying at 25 cents, so it's already up 300% from where we started accumulating. Plus, with all the massive airdrops that we've received, it's already been a very good investment, even though the SEC brought the lawsuit, and even though it has kept XRP from reaching new highs again. But I think that time is close. And while nobody knows when the SEC lawsuit is over, the lawyers are saying maybe around April. So I think we're getting close and I think it's quite likely this year that that will happen. And right after the lawsuit is settled, Ripple has said they will take their company public. So it's a one-two punch that XRP will benefit from and private investors in Ripple stock will also benefit from. And even though Warren Buffett has said he is not a fan of cryptocurrency, it's very interesting how he is an investor in SBI Holdings, which owns 12% of Ripple stock. He's also heavily invested in Bank of America, which is also a big Ripple partner. Whichever path you choose, whether it's Ripple stock or XRP, or if you choose both like I have, to me, this is an obvious choice of one of the best investment opportunities in our lifetime, in my opinion. And I definitely can see how Ripple could become the most valuable company out there of all publicly traded companies. But I can also see why XRP can become the most valuable cryptocurrency of all cryptocurrencies.